Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our YouTube channel, Taragi Pro. Our video today is all about recovering files. By the way, this video is sponsored by Isas. We're going to use the recovery software to recover files. They also have several products on their website. If you want to know more about them, links will be in the description below. Now let's go ahead and check first the software that we're going to use. We have a free version and a pro version. What are the key difference between both? The free version, you can use this one to recover up to two gigabyte recovered data. And this will also give you the ability to test the software if it is really working. So if you're a bit skeptical about the software, go ahead and try the free version. And if you are a home user, this will be enough for you. But if you are digging a lot of data, going for the pro version would be the best one for you especially that they are on a 50% discount right now. This can go from um, data loss to OS crash. You can recover the data that you lost there. Let's jump back to the software. Then we can start evaluating Asus Recovery Wizard. All the drives you have that is connected to your computer would be listed here and you can start scanning those drives if you want to recover from it. Uh, there is another option you have down below here where you can specify a location if you want to target a specified folder. I usually go for um, uh, the location so it is much better if you know where uh, the file you're trying to recover is located so that it will do a quick scan here and if you have your file then you go ahead and get that one but if not then you go to the more advanced scanning. So here in my case, it's doing the quick scan on that folder and it will show me what's inside or what are the files that were deleted there. Now, if it does not come up with any files, it will jump into advanced scanning and it will show you more files. So as you can see here, I'm trying to locate the files that I deleted, but I cannot see it here. So in somewhat uh, it should go through the more advanced kind of scanning where we are in right now but my only problem when it goes to the advanced scanning is the time it's going to spend okay so I have one file here right away this is my old file that I deleted a long time ago and you can see the dates of this one so this is um, uh, 2019 okay and today is 2020 Okay, let's go back and try to check some of the things that we have here. So uh, we can actually preview some of the files that we have while this is scanning, but uh, at some point you will have um, file issue because uh, it, it is not done scanning yet. So I'll just go for my GoPro here. Uh, these are way back 2019. Um, uh, these are my pictures on the GoPro when we went swimming. Um, yeah that's Nemo we're looking for Nemo okay so I'll go ahead and select this file so that we can recover these ones okay click this one and then I'll just go and hit recover once I hit recover this will prompt me to you know are you sure you want to recover this one and where it's still scanning yeah I want to recover it because as you can see the time here it's five hours the estimated time is five hours so once I click that recover, it will I will go and choose where I'm going to save this one. I have a ready folder here recovered from ASUS. Then I'll just press OK, and this will prompt you that hey, you are saving the file on the same drive you recovered it from. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, because it's a different folder. So it will give you time to recover this. Then ta-da! View recovered data. Let's go ahead and view this one. Ta-da, those are my files. Okay, there you go, it's on my computer right now. Um, and it's recovered right now. So next thing that we wanna do, let's try another one so that you can um, basically see how it works. Let's go to downloads. Um, yeah, let's open PDF and PowerPoint. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, confirm. So a while back, I only have one file here, but while it was scanning, there's an additional file that we can see, a PowerPoint and a PDF. So let's go ahead and check that one as well. PowerPoint, I think there's not much inside. 
another PowerPoint. No, that's not my folder. I think that's a very, very, yeah, my certificate of employment. Um, yeah, I don't want to open files because they're a little bit confidential here. Um, let's just go ahead and try Canaan. Let's go for Canaan. Another picture. Um, let's try to open this one first. Okay, so yeah, that's my project a long, long time ago. And that's me, some other pictures. That's my kiddo. Okay, so let's go ahead, click two pictures here, then recover them. Recover? Are you sure you want to recover this one while it's still scanning? Yes. Then, are you sure you want to save this one from the same drive you're recovering this from? Oh, yeah, it's okay. My drive is still okay. All right. Okay. Then, let's go view this one. There you go. The other thing I noticed here, guys, is I think bit the, the image quality is still the same. So, that's that's good enough. I hope this has been informative for you guys. I really like to open some of the files here, but especially these um, uh, Word files, document files, they're a bit confidential. So I believe you got the concept here. Other features uh, that we have here is a filter option so that it's easier for you to filter out, especially that there are a bunch of files if you are going to recover from date to file type to file status. You can choose which one you want to filter out so that it's easier to come up with your recovery. Okay? Once again, guys, I hope this has been informative for you. And I hope to see you in my next video. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Goodbye and thank you for watching.